to Sex Talk with Sharonda. I'm give everyone a chance to log on. Um, we're going to be talking about a few different types of orgasms this morning. But I'm going to give everyone a chance to log on. Um, I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. I hope you all are ready to uh, take part in this next challenge. This challenge uh, that I put together, I purposely did not make it a sexual challenge. I purposely made it a mental type of challenge. Now, of course, if you have sex, then it's great. You know, the, the end result is great if you have sex, but that's really not what the challenge is about. The challenge is about mental stimulation. The challenge is about um, acknowledging your feelings. Um, the challenge is about opening up a line of communication for you and the person that you're with and expressing to them how you feel about them. Um, so, y'all like these? Ow! I like these. But y'all know I was already talking about these, but this is a kind of different style because this one is just the pearl hanging. It ain't really a crotch. It's just lace and a string pearl. I just got them in today. So I'm trying to give y'all a chance to actually log on um, because I did hit the live button a few minutes early today, earlier than uh, what I normally hit it. Let's see. All right, I'm able to see everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, just in case you like my shirt. Yes, it does say Gap. Good ass pussy. It is on the website. I think it's like $12. Something like that. $12, $15. One more minute and then we're going to get started. So today we're going to be talking about um, three different types of orgasms. We're going to be talking about the um, mental fantasy orgasm. It's like mental slash fantasy. Then we're gonna be talking about um, nipple. What did I say at first? Okay, mental slash fantasy, then breast slash nipple, just depending on what, kissing slash oral, all are different types of orgasms and we're gonna talk about them, okay? Because I don't think a lot of times we pay attention to what's going on in our body. Um, when, when all this pleasure is going on. Because of course we've already found out that orgasm, the true definition is about pleasure. And we know that there are 12 different types. I'm just looking at this y'all. I'm always ordering new stuff and I always order one just to see if I like it before I order a lot of other ones. And the name of this game is Touch Me Erotic Massage Game. Okay, this is Heat massages, that feels really okay. Feels really good massage, warm up massage. Well, I look at this on my spare time, but um. All right, so we got enough people on this live to get started. So the first orgasm that we're gonna talk about today is the mental orgasm. So if you went back on the page, you will see that I asked you to list 20 things that gives you pleasure. 20 things that just gives you pleasure. It does not have to be anything sexual. It could be like, for me, it's a cup of coffee in the morning. I love a nice cup of coffee, and I love it even better when Mr. Parker prepared and bring it to me, because um, he makes some bomb-ass coffee. But that's one of the things that is on my list. Another thing that is on my list is, I like me time. A lot of y'all may not know it, but I am an only child. So my comfort zone is when I'm to myself and I'm able to process my inner thoughts. A lot of times I enjoy writing by myself. A lot of times I don't even play music when I write because I enjoy my own thoughts. I know it may seem kind of strange, 
Whereas my other, my husband on the other hand is the oldest of uh, five siblings. So it was six of them. He enjoys noise. He enjoys the comfort of waking up and I'm right there. Um, those are the things that make him happy. For me, separating myself is what makes me happy. Getting that, that time to myself. I don't know why. It's just what makes me happy. So, a lot of times, um, what, what scientists have found is if you make this list and you list 20 things that make you happy, just routine things that make you happy, studies show that it puts you in a better place mentally, right? Because our mental health is just as important as our sexual health. Um, and a lot of times when we okay mentally, then we can reach places that we probably wouldn't have never been able to reach when it comes down to our sex life, okay? So, the thing is, trying to make sure that you have your mental stability is it's major. To have a peace of mind is major. So I challenge each one of you just to make a list of 20 things that make you feel good. It does not have to be sexual. It could be some people enjoy getting their scalp scratched. Some people enjoy getting their back rubbed. You know, some people enjoy, you know, to be able to get online and do certain types of research. Like that's what brings them that that um that serenity, you know? Um, so let's get to mental and fantasy orgasms. I know that a lot of you have heard the term wet dream. If you've heard the term wet dream, let me know. Just like like up the post just so that I can know that you're familiar with a wet dream. And I'll explain to you what a wet dream is. A wet dream is an involuntary orgasm, meaning that you don't touch yourself, you didn't do anything to trigger it, not voluntarily. It's subconscious, meaning that you ain't got nothing to do with it. Your mind, when we woke, we have all control of our thoughts, we have all control of everything. But when we are sleeping, at this point, we're dealing with the subconscious, okay? That means that you ain't got nothing to do with it. You can't start it. You can't stop it. It is something that literally just happens, okay? That is what is called a mental slash fantasy orgasm. Now, it happens in our sleep. We've heard about it in our sleep. But do you know some people, and I've never had, I've had it to happen in my sleep before when I was much younger, like maybe 14, 15, and I was shamed, and I was like so embarrassed because I was like, what happened? Like, I didn't even know what the hell happened to me. I didn't know what happened to me. I just know that I woke up with, with and I don't piss on myself in my sleep. So, um... I was really embarrassed about it because like who can you go to as a teenager and say look i'm i'm wet i'm soaking wet like what happened to me you know either two things your parents are gonna thank you they had a wet dream or they're gonna thank you to piss on yourself and they're gonna be asking you what's wrong if they think that you then pissed on yourself they're gonna think something happened if they think you had a wet dream they're gonna think you're trying to be grown so it's like as a child you don't really know how to communicate that you know to someone that you've had that to happen to you. Okay, so moving along, um, it happens in your sleep. Well, some people can actually make this happen while they're woke. They can think themselves into an orgasm. Like they can literally get so worked up and not touch anything on their body. For example, how many of y'all like erotic novels? erotic novels. I'm talking about that old wrong shit. And he threw her on the bed. And then he ripped her pants off of her. And then he went down and he smelled her pussy. And then he licked it. And then he, all of that kind of shit. And then as you're reading this shit, your heart, it just start elevating. It, it start speeding up. And then all of a sudden, your pussy doing this here. And as you're reading a book, that is a fantasy orgasm slash a mental orgasm. It brought you pleasure when you read that. 
okay? So, those are the mental orgasms. I, like when I was a teenager and I used to read a lot of erotic literature, I used to get all, you know, flushed like that because I wasn't having sex like that. So, you know, you try to get it in that you you get that fantasy in when you went when and where you can. You get what I'm saying? Because you're not having sex or not supposed to be having sex. So with that being said, you know, it's almost like you didn't watch some porn or something and it just got you all worked up without even touching yourself, right? Thus mental, fantasy, that's where that type of orgasm lies. It's all mental in your mind. Okay, I'm, I'm reading y'all comments on here. Okay, a lot of y'all like to read a lot of erotic uh, literature. Now, as I've gotten older, I still read a lot. I read a whole lot. I just don't read the fantasy novels. I read more nonfiction stuff pertaining to the industry with sexual health and wellness, more factual research studies. I read stuff like that now. When I was younger, I used to read all of the, you know, the erotic literature and stuff like that. Okay. Yes, if you are a, a person that's into Zane books, she, she actually brings it. Yes, she does. Okay, the next type of orgasm that we're going to talk about is the kissing orgasm. Y'all, I love to kiss, okay? And I'm an aggressive type of kisser, meaning that, you know, a lot of times I take the initiative, I lead in the kiss. I'm the one who's doing all the shit with the tongue, and he's more of the receiving or whatever. And sometimes I let him or whatever, but I just like it better when I do it. I feel like I can do it better, so I do it. Um, but kissing orgasms. How many of you all have been on a date, and all you did was kiss, and it gave you like this wave of pleasure? And it was just like this kiss, this, this kiss just like, knocked you off of your feet like your pussy wet it's like you you just like your body just doing its own thing and all that happened was a kiss you experienced the kissing orgasm yes you did the 50 shades trilogy i know a lot of times y'all are a little bit behind um than me on the um, on the live screen so with that being said, that's what a kissing orgasm is. We have a lot of nerves in our mouth, a boatload of nerves in our mouth. And sometimes when we kiss each other, and sometimes women can give oral sex, meaning that you're not touching your body, but you, you climax just from sucking his dick. You got pleasure from giving pleasure. That's a kissing slash oral orgasm. Or you ate your girl out, and you had an orgasm just from eating her out. Yeah. Let me hop back to that mental orgasm. A stud wearing a strap and she's watching her old lady suck the strap and she have an orgasm. That's another mental orgasm that can be had. So, I like slow kissing. I, I, I like, it's like a slow, but it's a hard, aggressive type kiss. And like my, they be, they be wet, they be sloppy. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm kissing you all over your face, your neck, back to your mouth. Like, I'm all over the place. Because that's the type of... It, like, it turns me on. It gets me going. And I know some people really don't care for kissing. But kissing is a must. Like, you, we got to kiss. We, we got to... I got to be able to kiss you in order for me to be able to get everything that I need out of this sexual experience. I have to be able to kiss you. Okay. So, the last orgasm that we're going to talk about, which I have a lot of products for this particular orgasm, which is the nipple orgasm. Okay. So, a lot of times we can experience the nipple orgasm through, because I was just doing it to my husband last night, just flicking my tongue on his nipple, just flicking, blah, 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 flicking, flick, 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 flicking, sucking on the nipple, flicking. We could do it orally with our mouth, right? Or we could take our fingers and we can twist the nipples. All of that gives stimulation to the nipples, right? Or we can do something like nipple clamps. And I'm going to talk about the difference between them, okay? We got arousal gels. Now, let me just say this here. 
Women that are heavy busted normally do not enjoy nipple stimulation. That's because their nipple is here and their nerves are like literally up here in the breast. And it's just so much tissue. So a lot of times when you sucking on their nipples, like they don't really even feel that shit. Like it'd be like, oh, well, I'll let them suck the city. It's for him. But women like me who are not heavy breasted and who have small breasts, a lot of times our breast is our spot. We get a lot, a lot, a lot of stimulation because our nipple is still so close to the nerves, okay? So women that are heavy breasted a lot of times don't get a lot of nipple stimulation versus women who have small breasts, they get tons of nipple stimulation. Some women just get off on watching a man suck their breast. Ding, 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 mental mental orgasm, right? I love to watch my husband suck my breast. I feel like he's nurturing them. The same way I suck his dick, and I'm not necessarily doing it to bring him to an orgasm, but I'm doing it to nurture him. When he is sucking my breast, it's almost like this awesome, intimate, nurturing type of experience, okay? And it makes my body go crazy. You put your mouth on my titties, it's over for me. I'm like literally multi-orgasmic, coming back to back to back to back to back just because you did something to my breast, okay? So, we have different forms of stimulation. These are the alligator clamps. Now, if you look at them, and I like to hold them close so you can see it, but there's some rubber buffers on these clamps, rubber buffers. Now, these buffers, they are designed not to pinch the nipple, not to break the skin, okay? It's like protectors. That's why they're there. Then you have adjusters, because a lot of times people think that the nipple clamps actually hurt, but when you put them on, you have adjusters to tighten them and loosen them. So that means that you put them on to your comfort, right? Now, I like the ones with the chains, because while you're riding, he can actually tug on them and pull them, and it gives another form of stimulation to the breast. And with the chains, it adds a little weight to the breast. So again, it gives a lot more stimulation, okay? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's excellent. I know a lot of women that are heavy breasted though, y'all, and they just be like, you know, I just let him have his weight. Like, I, it don't do nothing for me. So these are the, the weighted nipple clamps, okay? Then I brought out the feathers. Now, let me tell you why I like the feathers. First of all, I think the feathers are super, super, super sexy. Especially when you have on the feathers along with the mask, along with the lace panties. Like, that's, that's awesome. I love it, love it, love it. So these are the buffers with the feathers, okay? Absolutely love them. Love, 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 love. I think I probably, I don't know if they're on the website, but when I finish this live, I'll add these to the website for those of y'all that are interested in them. All right, vibrating nipple clamps. Mm-hmm. Then these warm up. Not only do they vibrate, but they warm up. Vibrating nipple clamps. Like people be like, oh, you got this? Now this is the one with the cords. So that means you wearing them and y'all have to decide who's gonna operate them and all of this kind of stuff because they have the little remote control on it, okay? But for people that don't like cords, these are the vibrating ones that are wireless. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have all of this at the PPG store. A lot of times people pass this section up in the store. And I always try to get people to go back and revisit. Because my thing is, I like to experience something new. When you like me and you have been having sex with the same person for a long period of time, sometimes you have to start venturing off into other forms of stimulation. And not just the same old clitoral, um, cervical, penetrative type of sex. All of that is great, but then when you start adding all of these different little bits and pieces of elements to it, that's the stuff that makes it exciting, okay? Now, we have the erect nipple gel. Now, this is the mint flavor, okay? This is flavor. You take this gel and you put it around the nipples and it makes the nipples hard and erect. Especially for my ladies who have those nipples that go inward, what this do is actually help pull that nipple out and make it hard and erect. We have lots of this in stock. And we also have a strawberry flavor too. But I, if, if I'm gonna use anything, 
and they they have it in mint i always go with mint because mint allows me to blow and give a cooling sensation and then i like to kiss and you got that mint taste in your mouth okay so if i put this on my nipples and i feed my nipples to you and you sucking it and it's mint and it's cooling and it feels good then when i go down to kiss you that means your mouth has the mint on it too and i love a fresh kiss love it love it love it i love mint okay so we have those then we have the kits now the kits have the vibrator it has the little whip it has the nipple clamp and it has the blindfold the satin blindfold at that okay so if you're looking for nipple clamps with the kits yes we have those as well okay another form of stimulation for those of you all who like a lot and y'all try to figure out well, what we gonna do with all of these you got three bullets you can do vaginal stimulation your nipples his nipples you can do vaginal stimulation clitoral stimulation your nipples you can do anal vaginal nipples mm -hmm. you can do anal your nipples his nipples so many different things that you can do with the triple bullet okay the sky's the limit with the triple bullet you can put one in chase with the dick clitoral nipple it's a lot of different things you can do with the triple bullet okay so great for nipple stimulation as well um i showed y'all these last week on the page and i told y'all i was gonna order me some and i meant what the fuck i said so yes 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 mr parker get ready they came in this that black and gold this that who that oh yeah i'm loving it love 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 okay let's see here let me undo oh okay you know i was trying to figure this out i'm like okay wait a minute here we go cuffs cuffs connect yeah, I know I was kind of pissed. I was like, okay, what the fuck? Okay, but for packaging purposes, they put it all together. But I'm loving this. Mm-hmm. Then it has the cattail whip. Now, I do have these in stock, but this is for me. <laughs> this is going to be mine. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely love it. Um. Now, let's talk about you know, making it sexy. Of course, we want to do these panties. Yes, they come in regular size and plus size. I did not leave out the, the little bitty ladies. I have them in your size too. But, you know, for my big girls, yes, honey. I got them for us, honey. This is a 1X, 2X. Baby, my pussy going to be beautiful in this. See, I got this along with this. Along with this, it's gonna be awesome. He gonna be ready to um after he read his little card because I, I take kids on the call <laughs> cause he gotta go pick Taylor up from school um at two. So I know when he goes to get in his car, he gonna see the note. And I know when he see the note, initially he gonna probably freak out a little bit trying to figure out who the fuck put the note on my car. But yeah, baby, that was your wife. I put the note on the car. <laughs> if you not if you have not purchased your copy of Cyber Sex, make sure you go online, order your copy of Cyber Sex. If you have not downloaded How to Squirt, make sure you go online, download How to Squirt. Tomorrow I will be live with Oriel Perkins at her clinic and we will be talking about breast examinations and all of this great stuff um preventative care. Next week, October 15th, uh, I will be with Dr. Bridget Stibes and we will be talking about snatching his soul. Yes, I will be live with the past, and we will be talking about snatching his soul. Yes, 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 yes. In a good way. Yes, in a sexual way. Most definitely. So, um, I have another event coming up. Two dates. November 15th and 16th. 
um, meet and greet, unicorns. If you're unicorns, this is not my event. I'm not putting this event together. I've been hired to be a guest speaker at this event. But it is a lifestyle party, so people who are interested in being unicorns, by all means. October the 18th is our sexy costume party here at the PPG store. A lot of y'all have already been buying your tickets. Cannot wait to party with you. You already know that I'm I'm coming here to cut the fuck up, okay? Make sure you wear your sexy costume. October the 23rd, meet and greet at Church Hills. Um, I will also be doing a book signing there. I'm just trying to make sure I'm spitting out all of these dates to you all. I have so much going on. Oh, next year for my birthday, I will be going to Aruba. So if you want to go to Aruba with me, this is a ladies trip. All ladies from all over. We have that. It's, it's a group of travel agents from all over the United States putting this girls trip together. My aunt is one of the travel agents that is putting, um, that, that is uh, sponsoring this trip. So she, her birthday is December 25th and she always get fucked over for Christmas. Okay, so this time she's celebrating her birthday in July. She's having Christmas in July. She's celebrating her birthday. So guess what? I'm celebrating my birthday too. Because the trip is the end of July, beginning of August. Only three days in Aruba. All inclusive. All your drinks included. Everything. Tag your girls. Come party with me. I know it's going to be like an all white night where we're going to be eating on the beach. The shit you see the housewives do, bitch. That could be you. Mm -hmm. A all black masquerade party or something like that. And then another one, we're going to be doing like photo shoots and our swimming suits on the beach. Yes, bitch. This is the ultimate girls trip. When I say ultimate, I mean ultimate, okay? And Sharon Parker will be there celebrating her birthday. This is my 40. Now, I told you I wasn't doing a birthday party for my birthday this year. That, the birthday party, I did the last one for 39. And I told y'all from now on, I will not be doing shows for my birthday. I want to enjoy my birthday. And I told you I want to travel for my birthday. So every year for my birthday, bitch, if you want to get out the country, then you just keep on following me because I'm going to make sure you get there, okay? Um, I will post all of the flyers on here today. Today, 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 today. I'm just trying to make sure I answer everybody's questions while I'm on here. The store hours today, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. The group is now secret. So with that being said, if you got people that you want to add to the group, you got to add them. We don't have a link that we can send anymore. That means that um, they, if they waiting on a link, they got to wait to what's called open enrollment, which means where I open the group up one day and turn it to close and send the link out and allow all of them to send their request on that day. And then we close the group back up and turn it back to secret. So, and if they want to do open enrollment, they just need to go register on my website and they'll get the date that the link is going to go out. All right, that is going to wrap up Sex Talk with Sharonda. You all be blessed. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. to get some good knowledge.